move on to measuring volume of irregular solids. The volume of solids without regular dimensions are determined by the displacement method. To conduct this activity, we need the following items. We have a beaker with water, we have a measuring cylinder, we have the irregular solid, which is the stone, tied with a, a thread or a string. Now let's start with the procedure. We're supposed to fill the measuring cylinder partly with water. Then record the volume as V1. So for what I have here, it is 94. Then tie the irregular solid with a string or thread and lower it into the partly filled measuring cylinder. So as you can see, I've already tied the stone with the string and you're supposed to lower it gently into the measuring cylinder. After that, record the new volume as V2. And what I have here is 104. The volume of the water displaced by the irregular solid is equal to the volume of the irregular solid. Therefore, the volume of the irregular solid will be equal to V2 minus V1. Now at this point, let us substitute the figures into the equation. So we have V2, which is equal to 104 cubic centimeter minus V1, which is 94 cubic centimeter. And this will give us a final answer of 10 cubic centimeter. This answer represents the volume of the stone that was immersed in the water.